morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I own the kitchen. We are gonna make my daily smoothie. I like look forward to this moment every single day. This smoothie is so good. So I'm gonna get out all the ingredients so that we can make it. All right. Looks like I am low on my pineapple chunks, but I do have an actual pineapple here. So I might need to like cut this up so that I can throw a few more pineapple chunks into my smoothie. I'm actually partnering with a protein powder company over on Instagram. So while I'm making this, I'm going to film a little bit of it too so that I can put it on like my Instagram stories for like that campaign. But the protein that I have been trying out for a little bit now, it is this one. It's from Global Healing. It's their pure plant protein. It is a plant-based protein powder. And this one is just like packed with protein and it actually has enzymes and probiotics it too i really like this it's like not grainy it's like super smooth so i'm just going to continue making my smoothie with this protein i actually do have a code for 15 percent off that i'm going to mention over on my instagram but i'll obviously mention it here as well because it's only valid for 24 hours only so this vlog and that story is going to go up on the same day so that you guys don't miss out my youtube family if you guys don't follow me over on instagram or don't even have an instagram i wanted to make sure that you guys don't miss out as well so if you want 15 percent off of your protein powder just use my name carissa like i said it's only valid for 24 hours only and this does come in multiple flavors too i just really like the unflavored and then sweetened kind because if you mix it with smoothies or anything else it's just like truly flavorless you know so you don't have like any extra taste in it but if you wanted to make a protein like shake on its own or if you wanted like a chocolate protein smoothie like whatever you want to like mix with it i mean they have chocolate and vanilla so you can definitely get like a flavored one too but this is just like the one that i prefer so anyways let's go ahead and make the smoothie i will show you my favorite smoothie and like the exact recipe for it too but first i need to cut up this pineapple like i said so let's cut it up <laughs> baby you want a smoothie of course. of course do i even need to ask Okay, let me give you an overview of the ingredients. So I obviously never just put it in individual bowls, but for Instagram, I felt like this was more aesthetic for pictures, but also it can kind of help you see like the portion size that I typically do. So these are all the ingredients that we will be using. Let me get the orange juice more over here and the water too. All right, let's start. So first up, we need to do our liquid base. So for my smoothies, I like to do a mixture of water and orange juice. I have tried different types of milks before. I've tried doing only water. I've tried doing only like a juice, but I don't know, I feel like this way still tastes really good. And then I don't have to use that much juice too. So I don't like go through it that quickly. So I am gonna be making two smoothies, one for me, one for Juan as well. So this is gonna be for two smoothies essentially. And I forget like what the serving size of my glass cups are. I'll look that up and I like can put it on the screen too because I'm sure it can make like a massive smoothie but anyways I just figured I would mention it so that you guys can like portion it out if you want just like a single serving for yourself you know so starting out with a cup of water and then we're also going to do a cup of orange juice I'm hoping this isn't gonna be too watery because I usually use frozen fruit. Like even like my pineapple is fully frozen, but I'm doing like half like fresh. And then usually my bananas are frozen as well, but um, I was waiting for them to be a few days old before I like take them all apart and freeze them. So this isn't frozen either, but I'm sure it'll be just fine. Okay, so we got our liquid base. Next up, if you're gonna do like any sort of boosters or additives, this is the time that you typically do it. One serving size is 20 grams like I was saying um but I think I'm gonna do two so that way both Juan and I can get like 20 grams of protein you know next up is typically when I add in like my greens this is like two massive handfuls or maybe even like three I typically like a lot of spinach oh this is spinach <laughs> it's a good way to get like your daily green spinach is filled with so many health like benefits you know and you can barely taste it especially like when you add fruit and stuff on top of it and then i also do mango so a little bit of mango on top we have our pineapple banana 
All right, and then we blend. My blender is the Vitamix. I'm sure any blender will do. We just got this around the holidays because it was on sale and I've been loving it. They have like a smoothie option on it, so that's typically what I start out with, so let's blend. Okay, just as I thought, this is definitely gonna be a little bit watery than our typical smoothies, but I don't mind that at all. So heads up there, if you do use a lot of fresh ingredients, if you're new to smoothies, you might not know this, but if you make a lot of smoothies, you already know this. If you do use fresh ingredients, you will have to mix like ice in it if you want it to be like a smoothie-like texture. If not, then you'll end up having it a little bit more runny. So anyways. <laughs> This is how close I've been losing it all think. week. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, Let's taste it. Uh, so good. But let's go give this one to Juan. taking a mini work break to share with you my outfit because I'm completely in love with it today. This is like my perfect working from home outfit. So you guys already saw this sweatshirt. This is one that I got from Aloe. I included it in my Aloe haul that just went up like a couple of videos before this. Love this color. It's like my perfect neutral brown color. It's way more cropped than it really is right now because I have it tucked into my sports bra. I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Pulled down, but then I'm also wearing the scuba joggers. I got these in a size two, which I've been really, really liking in these now i used to get them in a size zero but i just feel like the two provides just like more space and more like room throughout especially like working from home so i think like moving forward i'm just gonna get them in a size two also like the waist isn't as tight too i don't know if i'm just like gaining weight or like what but it's fine and then to show you this a little bit down so it has like a, a cinched like waistband on it you know so you can leave it down if you want it to be a little bit longer and not as cropped which is still like totally cute or you can kind of like roll it under as well and i love that but just to keep it from like falling down all the way i just put it up into my sports bra and oh my sports bra that i'm wearing is the flow y high neck sports bra from lululemon i love this as well also super random we mounted the tv in the bedroom yesterday i did most of the work i just had juan come in to make sure that he liked like the height and everything else i am an independent woman i like to do these sort of things on my own and then for my bedroom you guys would have seen in the last vlog that my bedroom has a lot of updates i mean we have a rug we have a bed frame and all like that sort of stuff i'm not gonna like completely share the bedroom and like go into detail about everything until I finalize the bedroom and then I'll end up doing like a dedicated video to showing the bedroom the reason being there's still a lot more things that we are waiting for I'm actually gonna swap out this dresser to get the matching one to like the nightstands and we're also gonna get like a four drawer dresser to match over here there's art lamp like there's a lot of just stuff that still needs to happen in this room so I just figured I would mention that you can see over here let me just swap you around this blue tape is here so that we could see what the height of the dresser is going to be in this space this is one of juan's old coffee tables that i'm trying to get rid of so now that it's hung up i think i'm gonna get this out of the bedroom but anyways i still need to like clean up a bunch in here like i said this just <laughs> happened last night um but i'm gonna see if i can do something about this cord right now and then also clean all this stuff up I found this that i had from the condo but it's kind of like a thing to hide cables and i have like a lot more pieces left um so i'm gonna see if i could do something with this cord. Nope, can't do anything. I need an extension cord because the cord is too short, so scratch that idea for today. 
guys, I'm laying in bed and then I look up and then the sky is so pretty. It's like this pink color. Oh, gorgeous. See, this was the view I had. I mean, that was pretty gorgeous to look up and see. I'm doing a little bit of shopping on Aritzia's website. I just randomly got on the website and there's so many new things and things that I think are so cute. So I'm trying to pick what I need. I put like 5 million things in my cart. And then I also just posted on my Instagram stories a question box on if there's anything that you guys have been interested in that you wanted me to review. So I'm cross-referencing with that as well. So needless to say, there will definitely be a haul coming soon from Aritzia. <laughs> I am looking shiny. You guys have no idea how excited I am. I just completed my Amazon performance review. It's always at this time of the year where you have to complete your own portion but give feedback on all your peers as well. And it is always the time that my like true procrastination comes out. I put it off all week. I wanted to do it on Monday, even on like the day off and I didn't do it. Today's Friday and it's 8.30 and I finally got it all done. So I'm feeling like super happy and accomplished that I got that done and I can just forget about it, move on and I can enjoy and relax this weekend. So I'm feeling so excited about that. However, Juan just called me, dinner is ready downstairs. So let's go down there and see what he made us. Yum, we got some Milanesas. He already took it. And then we also have some mashed potatoes as well. We're just gonna have some water with this. You guys, I'm on day four of no Coke. I just randomly decided I'm not gonna drink Coke. I mean, maybe it's not so random as the fact that I have like all these news that's on my face. <laughs> So I'm trying to re-examine <laughs> my eating habits because there's no way I can give up my candy, but I can give up Coke <laughs> if that even has anything to do with it. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. I know. Good morning, good morning. We are gonna kick off the day doing a little workout. So we need to get ready to go first and foremost. Lips are so chapped. I mean, I ordered like a pack of eight <laughs> of this off of uh, Amazon. It just came. This is like the best. You know what I mean? It's so basic, but it, I love that it's medicated. I feel like it really helps to heal my lips pretty fast. Okay, anyways, let's get into it. You guys know I'm going to do my favorite, the Nike Training Club app. I just need to get into like this new routine of working out. I actually, since the new year and a little bit before, have been better about it. But even like this last week, I worked out five days out of like the seven days. So I feel like I'm getting into like a really good routine again, which I really want. There's like some people on this trail behind our house. So we're gonna continue, we're gonna hold ourselves accountable, we're gonna get the workout done in the morning so that we can move on with our day. And I just like, I don't know, I've been feeling just kind of bleh, uh, lately. And I think it's cause like this last week I was on my period and I've never felt like more bloated and just like, not necessarily insecure, but I just did not feel good at all about my body this last week. So we're just gonna make sure that we're working out. We can feel good about ourselves. Probably gonna have a smoothie after this again. So let's get to it. So I am doing the breakthrough challenge on the Nike Training Club app if you guys are new. It is like the best well-rounded program because each day is focused on something different like lower body upper body you have hit and you have like this really cool animal patterns type of workout too i'm not a fan of cardio and i feel like this is like my best way to get my cardio in at the end of every workout i'm always like dripping sweat they are so good there is also like a yoga portion of this as well for this specifically i actually skip the yoga i only do like the intense workouts but that is a part of like the five day workouts week program part of it so this is four weeks long and there's five workouts in each week okay so we're gonna do like the hit one she this trainer in this one she is a beast she is just like burpee queen she kicks your ass <laughs> so i'm ready to get my ass kicked today <laughs> And I always just put it on my TV with like airplay. That's just like the best way. Okay, let's get to it. Try not to race through it. Be really intentional about each and every lift. You've got another four. We go three. Oh, sorry about it. You guys need this work, okay? We've got to get those glutes and those hamstrings primed and ready for some of the jumping we're going to do today. Life goes up and it goes down. You got a little bit of extra core challenge. My mom got... taught me that I figured why we fool around. Every time. 
a little Let's see if we can get two on the next You got seven seconds Being so serious Idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company down Okay, fine Before the car runs out Legs charging long Sun is shining But the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby Don't need another feel Time is not on my mind But then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up No, not yet No, no, not yet No, no, not yet I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere that workout absolutely kicked my butt, but I am so glad to be done with it for the day. Right, there's no better feeling than just getting it out of the way at the beginning of the day, so that way you don't have to like worry about it all day or like think about it, you know what I mean? More chopstick. <sighs> While I was in the shower, I ended up cleaning the shower too. Got fully changed and then put a little bit of makeup on. What I'm wearing right now is the scuba like full zip in the white opal color. This really old, it's like from last summer, I think. Blue lemon sports bra. And then I'm just wearing some sporty and rich like sweatpants. And then my workout outfit was like a Lululemon outfit. I'll make sure that everything is linked down below. But I actually wanted to do a really quick mini collective haul. There's a few things that I've got that I just like wanted to share with you. Juan is calling me to come downstairs. I think he just got back from the grocery store and he's trying to think about making lunch. So we'll make this quick. There's only a couple of things that I wanted to share. And really quickly about this painting, it's kind of random. I'm actually not gonna like keep it like this. I actually bought it in order to paint over it and it's not even gonna go in this room. So it's just kind of like here temporarily. Get the elephant out of the room. Thought I'd mention that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. You guys know how obsessed I am with Beyond Yoga's tank tops. Like they're ones with the built-in bra in it. This is just like one of my staple like daily working from home tops to throw on. I've said it many times in other videos before, but I just got a few new colors. I got this green color that's called pine green. And then I also got it in this color too, which is like a pewter gray, I think is what they call it. It kind of has a little bit of like a light green vibe to it. But yeah, new colors in this. I was really excited about it. If you guys haven't heard me talk about these before, they're just like the best tops to work from home kind of like i said they have a built-in bra in it they are the softest material as well it kind of has like a velvety peach fuzz feeling to it so these are just really fantastic i also got this zip up from beyond yoga too it's in the exact same material as the tank top but it's in this gorgeous like light gray color i actually have the tank top in this color too so i thought it'd be really cute to wear as like a matching set or really just as like a daily jacket to throw on those days that i don't want a sweatshirt material zip up jacket like this one that i'm wearing right now but i wanted a zip up jacket you know but one that's a little bit loose not fitted not oversized so i feel like this is kind of like right in the middle and i really like it it's really comfy i got this in a size extra small and then i got another color in this tank top that i'm just so obsessed with i have it in black it's the skims fits everybody like crop t-shirt it is so incredible i love like the super crop fit on this this bottom band is pretty tight and it sits snug up against your body so it's not like gonna move around either and if you've tried any of like the fits everybody collection it's the same material and i really like it a lot i got this in a size extra small and this is in the oxidized color and then last up i got another pair of a goldie 90s pinch waist straight leg denim this just came in the mail a couple of days ago so i still need to wash it but this is in the color portrait and it's just a really solid medium to almost darkish wash jean i think that the goldie 90s pinch waist jean is almost beating my riley's in a way like these have just been like my go-to jeans that I love to wear they look incredible with like all shoe types but I love to wear them with sneakers like Air Jordans how these fit in the waist is pretty inconsistent with each of the washes this one fits pretty good in the waist I feel like there is like slight gaping to it so I wanted to wash it 
it, see if it helps to shrink up the waist a little bit and see if it helps with the length. The length is pretty good. I think that it could probably go up an inch. So yeah, we'll just see after I wash these how these fit, but I'm so obsessed with the 90s pinched waist. If you haven't tried them out yet, definitely try them. My favorite is the sound wave wash. Those ones I did have to get the waist taken in and it hemmed up, but the wash on them is just like, it cannot be beat. They go with everything. They are hands down my favorite pair of jeans right now. All right, that's it. That's everything that I wanted to mention. Told you it'd be really quick. I'll make sure every single thing is linked down below for you guys, but let's head downstairs, see what Juan's up to and fill up my water because I'm thirsty. Looks like Juan is getting lunch ready to go. We have football on the TV. This is a great Saturday, babe. Okay, sorry if you don't like to see raw meat, but this is what we are having for lunch today. Looks like Juan got some sausages that we'll have with some bread and then um, steak. And then he makes these like delicious egg filled bell peppers. They're so good. So I'm excited for this. And then we also mm -hmm. got out french fries because maybe we'll have a couple of french fries on the side and then he just got this out from the refrigerator this is a cheese that he brought back from argentina and it's just been like sitting in our fridge it's pretty freaking heavy and massive but he loves to fry this on the stove and it's kind of like what do you even call this just like a melted fried cheese and he makes it are you gonna make this on the stove yes like you normally do mm -hmm. okay so he usually cooks it with he cooks it with this am i correct in saying that You're correct. yeah so this is a little thing for him i'm not a huge fan of like the taste of this fried cheese but you would try it baby i try it every time every time and my answer is the same i do uh, not like it and you would try it again you are so mean. In my mind, the best way that I can relate the taste is, you know like if you have a grilled cheese and the cheese melts off the side and hits the pan and it's kind of like a fried cheese taste? Some people love that and that's fine, you know what I mean? But like, I just do not like that taste of burnt cheese and that's what this tastes like. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to know if it's poison or not. Let me check too. Why is cheese the best freaking thing on earth? Cheese is so good. Uh huh. So good. Uh huh. I can eat cheese all day, uh -huh. every day. Uh huh. Uh huh. So good. Can you cut some more of that for snacking? Mm -hmm. Lunch is served. What a spread. If you guys have never tried putting an egg and cheese inside of a bell pepper, it's surprisingly delicious. You guys should definitely try it out. Today doesn't taste like burnt, so you can try it. You're gonna force me to try this again. Uh -huh. Again. Uh -huh. I'm not kidding when I say I've tried this like over 10 times. Not one time have I liked it. Today is different. No preconceptions. Clear the mind. Clear the mind. It's a new type of cheese. It's delicious. Yes. It's fine. Uh, 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 uh. Not my favorite. Like, I don't think I could eat more than what's on my plate. <laughs> I still just don't like the taste of it. So it might just be the cheese itself. I'm just not a fan of. Don't mm. put that face. <laughs> Swallow it. I got a fried part. <laughs> <laughs> so not for me. <laughs>
It's almost 8 p.m. and we are still watching football. But I've decided I'm gonna make myself a little bit of a cocktail. Cocktail time, we're grabbing my tequila and we are going to make a margarita. <laughs> My super easy margarita that is really delicious. I love making this in this little drink, especially with the Resposado tequila. It just makes it like really smooth too, so cheers. So good. Mm, love this drink. I will put down in the description my recipe for this if you guys are interested in making it at all. <laughs> Let's go watch the last four seconds of the San Francisco and Green Bay game. They, um, they're tied. 49ers are making a comeback and they just got lucky. They don't even deserve to win this game So I'm curious how it's gonna shake out. No? So funny. Oh no! Field goal. Oh! <gasps> Damn. This is exactly like how the other game ended With the field goal within the final seconds This is incredible and this crowd and that Packers team is stunned. Well, Difference how do you feel about that? Not good. As Not good? Gold drills it from 45. <laughs> and the special teams let down the Green Bay Packers. And for dessert, I'm gonna make some of these lava cakes. They are so delicious and I cannot get enough of them. <laughs> I messed up a little bit, so it's not as good as my other ones, but still gooey in the inside. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little. And we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiots. Thinking it will matter, keep me company downtown. Before the clock runs out. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome to Friends are nearby, don't need another feel Time is not on my mind, but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy, I'm not gonna Good afternoon, happy Sunday. We've just been watching football pretty much all day. Obviously you saw me work out and get some stuff done this morning. We just picked up our lunch, which is sushi. Yum. So we ended up getting California rolls, spicy salmon rolls. These ones are like my favorite. And then Juan always gets like a specialty one or something that's more fancy. This is what he got. I believe it's called the Kono. Um, Kona? Okay. It's like at least what this restaurant calls it. I have no idea what's in it. it. looks like there is some like fish eggs on top. 
Looks like it has avocado inside, some sort of like fish <laughs> on top and inside. If I find out, I can put it on the screen for you guys. Babe, my mouth is salivating. Let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> 